Hey everyone, welcome back to Auto Curious. Let me simplify the science behind your ride. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of automatic transmissions, how they work, why they matter, and most importantly, the different types you will find in the modern cars. If you have ever wondered what CVT, DCT, or AMT are actually mean, you are into the right place. So, buckle up and let's roll. Before we explore the types, let's get the basics. An automatic transmission is a system in your car that automatically changes gear ratios as the vehicle moves. So you don't have to manually shift the gears like in a manual transmission. It ensures smooth acceleration, better fuel efficiency and ease of driving, especially in the traffic. Now, not all automatic cars are built the same. Different car makers use different technologies and each type comes with its own pros and cons. Let's break them down. Number first is the torque converter automatic transmission that is known as the granddaddy of automatics. This system uses a torque converter instead of a clutch to manage power between the engine and the wheels. It's been around for decades and it's known for its smooth performance. The benefits of this transmission are like it is very smooth gear changes, it is proven reliability and great for relaxed city or highway driving. The cons of this transmission are generally this is less fuel efficient compared to the new types and this is uh, slightly sluggish at the low speeds. You will find this in the cars like the Toyota Fortuner, Hyundai Creta, AT or the Jeep Compass. Next we have the CVT. The continuously variable transmission. CVTs don't use traditional gears at all. Instead, they use a pair of pulleys and a belt to provide infinite gear, infinite range of the gear ratios. This, this sounds futuristic, right? The pros of these transmissions are it has smooth and super smooth acceleration, a great fuel efficiency, and that is perfect for city driving. The cons of this transmission are it is not as sporty as engaging. That rubber band effect we can feel when we accelerate. Anyways, you will find the CVTs in the cars like Honda City, Nissan Magnite or Toyota Corolla Hybrid. Let's move to the performance scheme, the DCT or the dual clutch transmission. This one uses two separate clutches for odd and even gears. So while you are engaging, while you are accelerating in second gear, third gear is already prepped and ready. This gives you the lightning fast gear changes. Pros of this transmission are, these are super quick gear shifts, they have excellent performance and they are great for spirited driving. Cons of this transmissions are, sometimes they can be jerky in stop and go traffic, they are expensive to maintain and they are sensitive to overheating. You will see DCTs in the cars like the Volkswagen Voltage GT, the Hyundai i20 Turbo DCT and the performance models like the Audi S5 or BMW M series. Next up is the AMT, Automated Manual Transmission. As the name suggests, it's a manual gearbox with an automatic clutch and gear shifting system. Think of it like a robot shifting gears for you. The pros of these transmissions are they are very affordable, they are easy to drive and they have low maintenance cost. The cons of these transmissions are they have the gear shifts very slower and sometimes they feel jerky. And this transmission is not very refined or responsive. These transmissions are available in the cars like the budget popular in budget friendly cars like Maruti Suzuki, Alto, K10, AMT, Tata Tiago AMT and Renault Quid AMT. Now let's talk about the IMT, Intelligent Manual Transmission. It is kind of a hybrid between manual and automatic. You get a gear level like a manual car but no clutch pedal. The system uses sensors to detect your intent and automatically engages the clutch. Pros of this transmission are, they are engaging drive without clutch fatigue. 
They are great for traffic and hilly areas. They have better control than AMT. Cons of the transmission are they are still not fully automatic and it takes time to get used to. You will see this in cars like the Kia Sonnet IMD, Hyundai Venue IMD, etc. etc. Many automatic cars today offer manual mode or triptonic mode or triptonic shifting where you can take the control of gear changes using the gear lever or pedal shifters. It's not a separate type, but a feature seen across the torque converters, CVTs and DCTs to give drivers more engagement. These are great for overtaking, hilly roads or simply having the fun. Electric vehicles like the Tata Nexon EV or the Tesla Model 3 usually use single speed automatic gearbox. Since electric motors produce instant torque across all RPMs, they don't need multi-speed transmissions. That means no gears, no lag, just smooth silent power. So there you have it, main types of the automatic transmission. Number first is the torque converter AT that is smooth and reliable. Number second it is CVT that is fuel efficient and seamless. Number third it is DCT or DSG that is fast and sporty. Number fourth it is AMT that is budget friendly and practical. Number fifth it is IMT that has the manual fun and the comfort of automatic. And number six that is EV single speed that has instant power, no first. Each has its place. The best one for you depends on your daily driving style, budget and preferences. If you are a performance lover, go for a DCT. If you want smooth city drives, the CVT is the great. If you want to save money, then go for AMT or IMT. That might be the ideal. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe to AutoCurious and don't forget to ring the bell icon so you may not miss any of our deep dive automotive explainers. Got questions or personal experience with any of these transmissions? Drop them in the comment below. We love hearing from you. Until next time, drive safe and stay curious. Thank you.